Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're covering another gameplay guide, which is now Robo Fortune. So Robo Fortune is not a character that I'm super amazing with. She has a lot of head drone stuff and long chain combos that can get really, really complicated. But I'm here to show you a gameplay that is really easy, but still very, very effective in this game. However, if you are interested in learning more about Robo Fortune in a more in-depth guide with more complex stuff, I've linked to a really good guide by Mordil or Crazy Cat Lady that covers it really, really well. But for this purposes, we're just gonna go with something very simple, very easy, but still works. So let's go to Robo Fortune. So the first moveset that I want to show you is a moveset that focuses a lot on laser beams. These are very simple to use, they're just one hit or like a few hits, and they're meant to be used from afar to deal damage from afar, and it really works well with Robo Fortune's marquee ability. Ping check, which gains Enrage, so you can also already deal a lot of damage with these as well. However, this is especially really really good with variants like Xbot over here, which has ability to inflict precision, and uh, no, inflict death mark and gain precision, so your laser beams will really hurt a lot. So the moves are Catastrophic Cannon Alpha, Variable Cutter, this one is really good to, for intercepting, Phaser Burn is really good to stun opponents, which allows you to more chances to gain enraged stacks from being afar, and the Theonite Beam is your main damage dealing move. Catastrophe Cannon Alpha can be replaced with Cannon Omega if you want, or you can replace one of the beams with Cannon uh, Catastrophe Cannon Omega. Row of Fortune's BB3 is a really really good blockbuster, so switching one of these with the BB3 is also a good option. So I'm using Xbot right now, which is gonna deal tons of damage. Let me su switch to something that is a bit more proportionate. Alright, so I've, I've put it on Meow here, which is a bronze variant, and if you see the stats, she doesn't have that much attack stat, so we can see how much damage this, this actually does in a real fight. Let's go. So the idea behind this moveset is very simple, you basically want to move away from your opponent as much as possible, using Phaser Burn to keep your distance, Variable Cutter to intercept when they get close, and then hit them with a hard-hitting Theonite Beam. Phaser Burn also has a chance to stun, which is really good. And if you're, you find your opponent having a full blockbuster, you can just use your blockbuster to get rid of those uh, meter with Wither. So there's not much to say here, it's a very simple set, but it can get really powerful when you factor in signature abilities like X-Bot or anything that can gain precision. And if you have a high crit damage, it will also stack up to deal a lot of damage, especially with your Mark ability, Robo Fortune's Mark ability, which gives you enraged stacks. So we'll go straight to a real fight to show you how this actually works out. So in this fight, we've got a modifier that caps our attack, so I'm not going to be dealing as much damage as I could, which is fine. We'll try again in Hollow Deck to see. But this is basically how you play, you just um, keep your distance, gain those enraged stacks from your mark ability, use Phaser Burn and Variable Cutter to intercept when the opponent gets close, and use your dash attack as well to flung them to the other side. Let's hope for a stun here. No, no stun. And then I could use a blockbuster to inflict wither, or if um, you can also use the BB3 instead. All right, so now I'm in hollow deck, so the enemies are a bit harder, but I'm also dealing gonna be dealing maximum damage because there's no damage cap. I also have perfect moves, so I need to tell you that, and that's why I'm dealing that this much damage. You generally want a lot of crit damage and special cooldown on your laser beams to be this effective. Alright, so the second set I want to show you is something more of a close range setup. And this is very, also very basic, it's not too complicated, and it involves these three blockbusters. So Circuit Breaker will give you uh, in Detonation Mode, which allows you to reset your ground combo really easily. And then you can combo it with an Assault Battery, followed by a Magnetic Trap. And that's gonna deal tons of damage, healing you a bit of health, and then you all, you're also gonna like explode a bit. So that's gonna be the main combo. We also have Catastrophe Cannon Omega, which again can be replaced with a Cannon Alpha. I like uh, Omega because I found that Robo Fortune BB3 is really really strong. And usually blockbuster meter isn't really a problem, 
Um, I know Alpha inflicts Wither because in detonation mode, your hits already reduce their meter. So it's kind of up to you. I also like to have like just another Tianite Beam because I think this move is just too good to pass up and it deals tons of damage when maxed out. So let's see how that's gonna show in the training mode. Alright, so my meter is full and the whole combo is basically this. You use your ground combo, then you use circuit breaker to get into detonation mode, use a dash attack and then use again your full combo before using assault trap and then assault battery sorry and then magnetic trap to explode your whole self and deal tons of damage that deals 69 um, damage combos 69 combo hits and since I'm using prototype it's very easy to spam this because of her signature ability and we'll see in a real fight how that's gonna look like so again get onto detonation mode use assault battery while the opponent is in the air, we use Magnetic Trap. Gain some health and deal 69 hits. And then you can follow it up with a BB3 or a cannon, ca Catastrophe Cannon Alpha. And a Theonite Beam too. So let's see how this is gonna look like in a real fight. Alright, so I need to um, increase my meter here. So I'm just gonna start off with a normal ground combo and followed by a juggle. And then ending it with the Tianite Beam for some d extra damage. Not quite there yet. But I could just go ahead and start with the Assault um, Magnet combo. And because I'm using Prototype, increasing my meter is really easy. I can just um, do that again. And now I can finally use my whole combo. Nice, it's dead. Let's do that again. So this works really really well with Prototype because of her signature ability, but it should work with most things. However, I still think the um, laser beam set is so much better. Because it doesn't involve blockbuster meter, you can use it anytime you want. And it works really well with some of um, Royal Fortune's strongest variants. So I just want to show you real quick that these moves are not uh, maxed out, they're quite weak. So they will significantly be weaker than the laser sets that I showed you before. But I kind of want to gauge how much damage I can deal with these moves in Holodeck Hazards. And I'm using Blue Bomber here to see how much, how hard it is to gain the meter. Because Prototype makes this so much easy. So let's see. Okay, we'll start with the ground um, combo. Okay, so a single uh, combo can get us that Assault Battery, which is quite nice. And two combos gives us all our fully, um, all our Blockbusters ready except for the BB3. Oh, I got stunned. Shoot. Okay, so I can start the combo now. Although it's a bit useless because of the final stand. However, the animation still kills her, which is great. I still got stunned. So let's just put a bit of distance here. Use a Theonite Beam to poke. And then I use a BB3. Just to get some extra damage there. Ooh, that dealt a lot of damage. Nice. Okay, just in time, I got the circuit breaker. 
and use the assault battery magnetic trap and I think this kills oh yes it does Alright guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. I just showcased two movesets for Robo Fortune, which I think is very simple and easy to use and can get you started on this game immediately. If you want some more in-depth guide with all the head drones and all the things that Robo Fortune can do, head to the link in the description below because I've got a link to Mortadil or Crazy Cat's guide, which is really, really good if you're into those kinds of combos. However, I think these ones, even though they're um, very simple, they're also still very, very effective. Um, against most things and sometimes when you're fighting against a lot of opponents a lot of things are going on you get stressed you probably need those simple things to get you through unless you're like a big brain player anyway that's all for me guys thank you so much for watching hope to see you in the next video and i'll see you later